Hi friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Train. Today we are going to discuss agriculture current affairs of the month of April 2019. Global Report on Food Crisis 2019. Uh, actually, this Global Report on Food Crisis provides the latest estimates of acute hunger in the world. And it's a public good prepared by about 15 uh, leading global and regional institutions under the umbrella of Food Security Information Network. And for several years, the number of people unable to meet their daily food needs without humanitarian assistance has been rising. And this food insecurity is primarily driven by two factors. That is persistent instability in conflict-ridden regions and adverse climatic events. According to uh, this report, Yemen, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Afghanistan, Ethiopia, the Syrian Arab Republic, the Sudan, South Sudan, and Northern Nigeria are expected to remain among the world's most severe food crisis in 2019. And climate shocks and conflict will continue driving food insecurity and are expected once again to severely affect several regions. And the climate uh, conditions that is dry weather in parts of southern Africa and drought in Central America's dry corridor have dampened prospects for agriculture output. And also the El Nino conditions are likely to have an impact on agriculture production and food prices in Latin America and the Caribbean. And the needs of refugees and migrants in host countries are expected to remain significant in Bangladesh and the Syrian regional crisis. The number of displaced people, refugees and migrants are expected to increase if the political and economic crisis uh, persists in Venice. And this global report on food crisis contributes to the humanitarian and developmental efforts uh, by providing the global and national food security community with timely and independent information on the severity and magnitude and drivers of food insecurity and malnutrition in food crisis contest. Next one is Asian Tea Alliance. The Asian Tea Alliance was launched in China. Actually, this Asian Tea Alliance is a union of five tea growing and consuming countries. This was launched in China. And the members of the alliance are the Indian Tea Association, China Tea Marketing Association, Indonesian Tea Marketing Association, Sri Lanka Tea Board, and Japan Tea Association. And this Asian Tea Alliance plans to work uh, towards enhancing tea trade, cultural exchanges, technology exchanges, as well as globally promoting tea. Earth Day. The 49th annual Earth Day was observed in uh, April 22nd of this year, and the Earth Day 2019 is observed with the theme Protect Our Species. Actually, the concept of Earth Day was formally proposed by John McKennell at UNESCO Conference on Environment in 1969. Later in 1971, a proclamation was signed to International Earth Day annually on the vernal equinox by UN Secretary and was the first celebrated in 1970. Since April 22nd, it is celebrated every year in more than 193 countries and the celebrations are coordinated globally by the Earth Day Network. India signs agreement to set agricultural institute in Malawi. India signed an agreement with the Developmental Bank for setting up India Africa Institute of Agriculture and Rural Development in Malawi. The agreement was signed as a part of India's effort to enhance capacity in the areas of agrofinancing and entrepreneurship development for African countries. And this uh, was reported by the Ministry of External Affairs and the Ministry signed the Memorandum of Understanding with National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development Consultancy Services. And this institute will be the first to fit kind developed in an African country by India. Indian Meteorological Department confirms weak El Nino conditions. In India, there is a relationship between El Nino events and hotter than usual summers along with the decrease in rainfall during the monsoon. 
the Indian Meteorological Department has finally declared that weak El Nino conditions are prevalent in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. And what do you mean by this El Nino? El Nino, which is the unusual warming of the equatorial Pacific Ocean, disturbs the global wind patterns affecting climatic conditions in tropical areas like Africa, subtropical areas like India, as well as the extra tropical areas like North America. In India, there is a relationship between these El Nino events and hotter than usual summer along with the decrease in rainfall during the monsoon. Most of the time, these events have also led to drought conditions. The weak El Nino have an effect on the onset and intensity of the monsoon this year and according to SkyMed weather, in the 134 years between 1880 and 2014, around 90% of all evolving El Nino years have seen below normal rainfall and 65% of them experiencing droughts. In fact, six of the worst droughts in the country since 1871 have been triggered by El Nino and the most recent being in 2009. In the last El Nino event that ended in 2016 has lasted for about two years and caused heat waves all around the world including India. And El Nino directly impacts India's agrarian economy as it tends to lower the production of summer crops such as rice, sugar cane, cotton and oil seeds. An ultimate impact is seen in the form of high inflation and low growth domestic product growth as an agriculture contributes around 14% to the Indian economy. GI tag for Kandamal Haldi. Kandamal Haldi, a variety of turmeric indigenous to southern Odisha, has earned the geographical indication tag from Intellectual Property India. Inter Intellectual Property India, an organization functioning under the Union Ministry of Commerce and Industry. Kandamal Haldi has more oleoresin and volatile oil contents compared to other turmeric varieties. Researchers identified climate change resilient chickpea genes. An international team led by the Hyderabad-based International Crop Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics, that is the ICRISAT, has identified in chickpea four important genes of heat tolerance and three important genes for drought tolerance. The study was based on complete genome sequencing of 29 chickpea lines from 45 countries. Chickpea is an important rabbit crop in South Asia, which accounts for around 90% of the global chickpea cultivation. However, drought and rising temperatures cause more than 70% yield loss in chickpea worldwide. And this uh, successful global initiative involved researchers from 21 institutes covering 45 countries and the team was led by Hyderabad-based ICRISAT in close collaboration with BGI Shishan China. Thank you for listening this video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, share this video, subscribe our channel and leave your valuable comments.